something is wrong with these active grill shutters. It's apparently a lot easier to replace on other models of cars in which they're found. But this one here has a particular problem uh, and that uh, it appears that the shutters themselves were installed before this upper radiator support bracket was put on because I don't see how to get it out from behind that without removing that damn thing. Uh, I've seen a lot of videos taking out, telling you how to take the bumper off. That's pretty easy. Actually, mine was halfway off and hanging on to begin with. Don't know what that is. Uh, the only video I found when I, when I look, do a search on YouTube for active grill shutters is one where they remove the radiator and air conditioning condenser all from the underside and the lower radiator support is easier to come off. Um, now the guy said in the course of that, while he didn't demonstrate it in the video, he said he thought that uh, by unsnapping the grill shutters from the bottom, which you could do, he saw no reason why you couldn't take them out from the top, that there wouldn't be enough room, but uh, he didn't actually do it. so. I think he would backtrack on that statement if he tried to do it. It's one of the videos that uh, I saw of somebody getting it out. He just took it out in pieces. Another guy just simply unsnapped, just simply took these louvers out. The problem with the thing is, is that um, getting stuck in traffic on the interstate in summertime, uh, it starts to overheat because the louvers don't open. When you start up the engine, they're supposed to, according to the videos I've seen, they're supposed to rotate full open to fully closed as kind of a check procedure, and then they'll close up until the engine warms up, which is one of the reasons for them, is to get faster warming temperatures, and that more, applies more to the south than it does, I mean to the north than it does to the south. And then they open up based on need. The air conditioner first stops cooling, and then the temperature starts to rise. Problem is with it uh, is that um, they just don't operate. I can see on the lower one, I can see this louver trying to peek open every once in a while in a repetitive way, just about a little slower than the way I'm using, showing it here. So something's jamming the whole mechanism to prevent it from opening, preventing the motor from opening it. Um, might be able to take this plate off down here and uh, get at it and pull it out from the bottom though, which is probably the thing, but you've got to lift it up to disconnect it from these clips. But the issue is, I don't know if it's fixable or not, I've got to pull it out just to see what's wrong with it. I didn't even know these things existed until yesterday afternoon. Um, now this is a 2012 Ford Focus. Because the primary stated purpose is to divert air over the top of the car rather than through the engine. And another video I saw, somebody apparently did some research and said that uh, uh, that when they're closed, it, um, it makes about a 7% increased fuel economy. They are expensive to replace if you buy OEM. Uh, we're talking approaching $500, if not more, with the inflation today and um, supply interruptions. So it's prompted a lot of people to just rip the little fins out of them and just um, do away with the 7% fuel economy that it's supposed to get. And you can see in front of there, straight in the middle is the power cord to whatever little motor in there runs it. Certainly, here's the lower bracket. There's a tab right here you can depress. You lift up on it. And then if you can get it high enough to get it to pass over onto this side of this bracket, which is fastened to the lower radiator support, might be able to pull it out from the, from the bottom. Unfortunately, pulling it out from the bottom is not going to be a viable option either because these, um, these wind deflecting, this wind deflecting shield here is um, 
going to rub up against the condenser and potentially uh, apply a lot of pressure to it and possibly put a hole in it. So if you wanted to pull it out from the bottom, you'd have to get a Dremel maybe and cut this off here and cut that one off there. But then you'd have to do the same thing with the new one. If I had to replace the thing, that's the way I would do it. Looking at mine from the bottom, I can see that it's, uh, I can see that it has uh, been subjected to a, an impact of some kind. Um, and uh, it's broken. And when it was pushed in, um, the lower louvers got separated from the bracket that raises and lowers and opens and closes the louvers. And the louvers got uh, separated to a certain extent and got to where they overlapped in the wrong direction. So I may be able to repair this somehow, this crack, and then slip all of these louvers back into their slots and get it operating again without having to remove it. Okay, apparently it's working again. The, uh, the louvers here on the passenger side got inverted. The three lower louvers all got uh, knocked out of the little snap-in keepers that keep them in line with the linkage that opens and closes them on the bottom and the uppers on the top. Apparently the resting position is open. My resting position was closed and because the louvers were inverted in terms of their direction, they were being prevented from, uh, it was preventing everything from opening and closing. It was jamming up the linkage and preventing the linkage from opening and closing the, uh, those and all the rest. Apparently, the vehicle encountered uh, something in the road or they bumped something bumped the back of another car maybe, who knows, but something cracked the underside of the system. And uh, I'm gonna try to just fix that best I can. Well, there's my patch job. Cleaned up the surface, brought it back flush and put some Gorilla duct tape on it. And then bored a couple of holes at the leading edge of the crack. Stuck a small zip tie on there to Give it kind of like the rivet in the Levi's. Hopefully that'll keep it together. There's no stress on it. It's just hanging there. The only thing that's going to make it come apart is weather. At any rate, put it back together and see how that works. If it uh, fails again, I'm just going to do like that guy in that other video and just reach in there and wrap, rip out all of the damn louvers and let it ride.